30 years after it was originally released in 1981, I'm presenting my reimagining of Bally's Flash Gordon game code. Now, this is already a great game, and I hope that most of what you know and love about it has been kept intact. I used the features described on the playfield as my guide so nothing would be confusing, but some of the more obscure features have been expanded upon, and a skill shot and wizard mode have been added. I hope that this makes playing in the home environment more fun, and that it highlights some of the playfield elements that felt left behind in the original code. Apart from fixing a couple of minor bugs, music and sound will be added soon, and hopefully in the next video will be some gameplay footage. You can run this on your machine at home by downloading the files at the link below. This code utilizes the Ballystern operating system and accompanying Arduino Nano module board developed by Pinside user Dick Hamill. He was helpful in expanding his library with more display options and adding the auxiliary lamp board needed to run this machine. You can see all his projects, including Stars, Blackjack, Trident, and Meteor at the link below. To start things off, you're presented with a skill shot. Plunge at any of the three star rollovers in the shooter lane and return to the plunger to collect. Hitting high rollovers awards you larger score, and plunging into the playfield voids the skill shot completely. Rewards are 15,000, 30,000, and 75,000, so make sure the switches are tight. Shooting the inline drop target should be familiar to you. They award 2x and 3x bonus, and also light the extra ball at the would be's target. Something new here is that hitting the would-be's target resets the inline drop targets, letting you knock them down again. As before, the bonus X can be increased to 4X and 5X by completing the 3 and 4 banks of drop targets. 4 bank of drop targets lights the left spinner on first completion and the right spinner on the second. The inserts in front of the 4 bank are not explained on the playfield, and previously the collection of the corresponding inserts scattered around the lower playfield seemed to be left to randomness until only one remained. I left the inlanes as they were, but I added a 15 second hurry up with a 50,000 point award to the two right side targets. This really makes you get control and take aim, because progressing to the 15 second 3x playfield multiplier and 100,000 super bonus just got harder. Nothing new here with the three banker drops. First completion lights the top bumper, second the collect mini bonus, and third for the special, which is a free game. Completing the arrows lights 2x play field multiplier and 50,000 mini bonus. Also returning is the super bonus collect. This is achieved by launching the ball back into the shooter lane after the single drop target in front of the entrance has been dropped. Another update is how the inserts in front of the saucer are handled. The green inserts each relate to one of the bank of drop targets and light when each one is completed. The bottom insert relates to the four bank, the middle to the inline bank, and the top to the three bank. If all three green inserts are lit, the extra ball at the saucer will also be lit. Note that each player can only collect one of each extra ball per game, and you must collect the wood beast extra ball before you can light the extra ball at the saucer. Any and all awards will be collected and cleared each time you land in the saucer. Flash Gordon 2021 is based around the idea that you're fighting your way through Ming's henchmen to reach and defeat the Emperor himself. His henchmen are represented by the drop targets around the playfield, and hitting 16 drop targets lights the outlane specials for wizard mode. Now all that's left is to battle Ming. In this mode, your goal is to charge your attack by shooting the spinners for 1 attack power per spin and pop bumpers for 22 attack power per pop. You'll see your attack charge represented by the saucer lights filling, and once you reach 152 attack power, the inserts will animate for an attack at the saucer. Attack 3 times to successfully defeat Emperor Ming. That's all I have to show today. Hopefully this doesn't make what is already an unreasonable game too much more unreasonable, and be on the lookout for those sound upgrades and gameplay footage. This Arduino Nano board can be put together for under $20, and you can easily dual boot between the old and new gameplay code, so hopefully you'll be able to get this running on your machine at home. Emperor Ming awake.